I know batteries last a while when not in use. But like, ugh. I think like even a PS3 controller, if you fully charge a PS3 controller and then don't use it, don't turn it on, don't access it for like six months, you're going to need to charge it again. It's going to be dead. Because there's, there's such thing as idle charge Great. where it just use uses they charge for him being alive, I guess. Like it's been ages since I've played my PS3. I'm not going to lie. I think the last thing I did was the House of the Dead playthroughs, which will probably come out after this. So it kind of doesn't make any sense if you're watching this on YouTube. But I played House of the Dead Overkill and House of the Dead 4. And that was probably the last time I played PS3, and that was quite a while ago. I do have, uh, I'm going to play the, the PS3 Onichambara game soon. Actually, probably after this. Not tonight, Final but it'll up. probably be the next game I play. Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. Because I was doing a bit of a translation project. I wanted to translate the... Uh, oh, pardon me. The Onichambara games that weren't ported over. And after doing the... I finished the PSP one, and I uploaded it. And that'll be coming out sometime. But I still haven't touched... Oh, yep, body on every door. Just like I promised as president. Oh, then we move on to the note, because that's way more interesting. Alright, always ensure your, your mask is fitted before assisting anyone else with theirs. If you detect gas or hear the gas alarm, one, do not panic, remain calm, and clearly shout gas, gas, gas to warn anyone in the vicinity. Hold your breath. Attach the gas mask carrier by placing the bag under your left arm. Pull the shoulder sling over your right, right shoulder and hook it onto the bag. Hook the belt around your waist. Remove your helmet, pull the mask up to your face with both hands, put your chin inside the mask first, then pull the mask over your face and the harness straps over your head. Remove any potentially trapped gas, close the outlet valve and breathe out sharply, and push any remaining air out of the mask with your hands. Check for leaks by tightly squeezing the flexible corrugated hose with your hand and inhaling. The mask should crumple around your face. If the mask does not crumple, there may be a leak. Readjust the mask to ensure it is snug. And repeat the process above until the mask crumples to ensure there are no leaks. <laughs> Must have been moving some pretty dangerous cargo. Uh, let go of the hose. You may now breathe as normally you would. Replace any headwear and close the carrier bag. You may now remove your mask only when you are told it is safe and instructed to do so. Prize the mask open slightly and smell the air. If you detect gas, close the opening and repeat the process of closing the outlet valve, breathing out sharply and pushing any potential trapped gas out of the mask with your hands. Once you've removed the mask, replace the mask with flexible corrugated hose into the carrier bag as you found it. You may remove the carrier if it is no longer required by unfastening the belt and shoulder sling. The gas mask will only be issued in the event of gas leak. Yeah, as I was saying, the next game I play is going to be the Onichimbara game on PS3, which didn't get an English port, which is the prequel to Z2 Chaos, which is the first Onichimbara game I ever played, and uh... I'm going to be doing maybe a translation project of that as well. I, I did do an English subtitle project of all the story cutscenes of Onichimbara Special on PSP. And uh, I think the PS3 game may, might be a bit more of a heavier project, but uh, who knows? Who knows? I will be playing it either way, even if I don't do a translation project, but I'm, I'm going to try. It's been an interesting hey, and very educational experience. But I think I'm up to it. I think this is our way up. Give me a look. I do like games like this where I can just play it and not worry though. I'll pull you up. This game has been very good with load times and low screen placement, whereas it's barely had any. So I think this is going to be a relatively simple edit where I just place the things side by side and then listen to it for audio inconsistencies and then it's over. Whereas when I was doing the uh, translation project, it was it was work. It was a bit of work on subjects I know nothing about because I only speak one language and it's English. 
And as we've seen today, I don't even speak that very well. But, uh, you know, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. And uh, maybe it'll be a big project to uh, do English subtitles of the PS3 game. I think an English patch might exist for it for people that use custom firmware. So maybe I'll just steal all of the subtitles from that instead of actually doing the translation work myself because as far as the Oni Chambara special game went I did all the translations myself. I mean I used Yandex and Google Translate and then a bit of uh, localizing which was my my own self working on that but it was a lot of work and hopefully this one will be easier work since I'm pretty sure it's already been translated in a sense. Yeah let's look in here. Over here. Is there gonna be a jump scare in this window? Gotta wait through here. That'd be a real, a real easy one. Only took half the time that time. A lot of weird cuts that don't make a lot of sense in this. Like just now, when it cut to that inside view of him. It was kind of pointless. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, know, I know a game where when it's doing things where some characters could actually be absent. Like games with a lot of choice kind of have a problem where they, they need to direct and program their scenes in a vague sort of way to make sense if certain things are missing. And I realize that's very difficult, and I respect the the work you put in, but sometimes it just kind of makes a mess of things. Last log shows him caught in a storm. All right, no damage reported. PM weather continues to deteriorate, as as does forecast. Crew bearing up. Wind at storm force gaining strength. Weather is exceptional with several lightning strikes hitting OM, but causing no sustained damage. We're leaking some water, but it is under control. Navigator ports, see at depth, readable. Oh, I can actually go back a page. And it was a bearing. Fog very thick. Okay, I found a secret by going back a page. Can I go forward a page too, though? No, that was only back a page. It's a good thing I'm so fucking nosy that I tried every direction. I can't really see, but I'm going to assume he tried for the door and it didn't work. Nope, not going to examine that corpse. We're so, we're so used to seeing corpses that it, it just doesn't matter anymore. Also, where did my friends go? Oh, let's examine that. Sure, while I'm over here. It's another photo, so I'm going to get some, some zap, some zap forwards. Maybe someone killed themselves. Who knows? Alright, this door is fucking nothing. I, I kind of wish they had just not made... Like... Oh, that's a person there. Of course there has to be, but it doesn't have to work. Nothing fucking works on this boat. I, fe I feel, but like I was saying, I feel like if there's a door that's locked and doesn't matter, then don't let me interact with it. Something's wrong if it'll here. matter later, right then sure, Francisco, but be crazy not if it doesn't. Route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out in the ocean? Alright, it's a map of the world. Good to know. I found another secret. Can we look at those? A nautical chart. He was sailing from China to San Francisco. That would explain why the guy, the boys could ex understand Chinese. And were able to flirt with the Chinese ladies. Because let, let's be real. If, if there's a Chinese lady present, you flirt with her. You, you just give it a shot. 
because you're not going to do any better. <laughs> Let's be real. Well, it's a blank fucking piece of paper. Oh, but on the back. Heavy storm blown off course, reported of hold to flooded excessive lightning, stri lightning strikes. Adrift in shallow waters, location unknown. Seabed depth believed uncharted, unable to establish depth. Search for crew member overboard commence. Search called off. Heavy cloud cover as yet unable to establish location. Sorry, buddy. I guess you're just overboard for good. It happens to the best of us. What are you going to do? Let's take our sip real quick. I think I'd be quick sips. So when I'm editing this, I don't have to go through the trouble of adding and cutting things yeah, out. Yeah, that's gross. Looks like this poor sucker bit it right in the middle of his message. Made a call broadcast. Radio contact intermittent. Attempted Morse SOS. Many crew dead. Hmm. Sounds pretty desperate. I die. If you have time to write, I die. Take a look. Then ain't that something. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Look, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years. As long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. Is there power, though? Ah, it's working! It's a number station. Military bandwidth. Let's ask them for help. Hey! Hey! Is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Shit, we got him. Uh, let's tell him our coordinates right away. If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately uh, 12 degrees 30 minutes south, 151 degrees 20 minutes west. Please get here now. We need help. We're on this, like, old freighter. We think the name of it is the Iran Medan. Hello? Hello? Is anyone out there? Please, come in! Well, we did what we could. And now there are character models flipping this. about. Admittedly, this game did, came, did come out, like, three days ago. There was a patch that I had to wait to install, but uh, it could be a couple more bugs. This this is more or less a, a day to This has got to stream. lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go, obviously. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. You're not my bodyguard. I can take care of myself. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. All right, you and me, Julia. Well, I still, I don't think I've gotten anyone killed so far. I mean, we did see my boy in a, a pile of blood and maybe my trip to the bathroom made me forget what exactly was happening to him. But I'm pretty confident that we're all okay so far. It's 4 a.m. Time is passing very quickly. She still has that, that uh, bandage on her leg. Any broken bones? Everything still work? Is everyone all right? I'm okay. Do you see anything? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. I'll wait here by the radio. Here. Wow, nice catch. You're really killing it, Julia. Hey.
After you. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go this way instead. How do you feel about this? Out of the way now. Alright, it gave, it gave me that hallway to wander down with apparently nothing. Looks like we're in the lower levels of the ship. What's, uh, what's kind of made it real easy about playing this game and commentating over it is it does not take me long to read subtitles. So it looks like there was some sort of fight and this Charlie went to the brain. And that private Charles Anderson on leave from duty did display intoxication in a manner not becoming... I think we read this already. Yeah, this, this is the thing we read last time. <laughs> Must have been a big fight. But uh, as I was saying, it, it takes me very little time to read subtitles. Because like I said, I read every night. So I'm pretty dang good at it. And I watch most anime subtitled. So I can literally glance at a sentence and be like, all right, we're done. And then look back at the animation, which is really nice because it sucks wasting time reading when there's like an action scene happening on screen. Uh, uh, yeah, I read this when I was playing as that guy in the first scene. Someone named Joe was in the sick bay. So that was that, that very, f oh, was this a different thing? Oh, this is open now. It wasn't open before. Now this is new. Minutes of meeting between Scientist X, CWO Walter Bishop, and CWO Tom Palmer, Sergeant Peter Wood observing, and an X from meeting with our team, and says we can mutually learn for the same thing. The Western world must be protected from. The United States has been aware of certain agencies investigating the chemical and biological agents in the warfare our action limited by the Geneva Protocol have experience were unable to describe an investigation during to test the effects on human subjects of the molecular crystal structure hallucinogens codenamed Manchurian gold chemical munitions battle it was even relatively minor observed to trigger significant hallucinations men Highly convincing. Subjects seeing and hearing things that were not there, even. The danger was manifold, and in its intensity. So the Manchurian gold isn't real, and people are fucked up over it. That's what I've gathered so far. I'm gonna need a hundred hot baths if we ever get out of here. We're gonna get out of here, Julia. I hope you're right. Am I ever wrong? A hundred hot baths seems like a lot all at one time. But if we make it out of this, a hundred hot baths for the rest of your life? Not all that much. I remember looking at this picture of a boy. This was the first that character's the boy. Someone on board. To Pops. I remember this place when it was in tip-top shape. Was this a thing I read before too? Diagnosis, mild neurosis, disability, is not the result of his own misconduct and was incurred in the line of dude. It existed prior to enlistment. No present, con no. Present condition, fit for service. Probable future duration, temporary. Recommendation, that he be closely monitored and referred back for medical checking in one week. Facts are as follows. I saw Private Patterson today who attended sick bay. During that visit, I observed signs of severe distress consistent with evidence of panic I observed in this same soldier during his watch duty earlier this week. I requested Patterson see me today as I believe his panic to be accompanied by vivid and disturbing memories. In the past, he has managed to continue his duties as symptoms appear to alleviate after his card shift. He claims these symptoms are very unusual for him. Private Patterson is a fit and healthy young man of 25 years with no known medical condition and an exemplary, ex, exemplary medical, uh, military career. He has been, he has, he was able to calm down during the course of our meeting and tests for speech, reactions, memory, and decision-making all appear normal. 
clear case of the SOS CR. Yeah, let's let's wow. move a wee bit. Jesus. No, it's probably not Jesus. It's probably our favorite fiddle player. Whatever name I had assigned to him. I forgot already. Henley? Is it our boy Henley? Oh, that's the boy picture. I don't need to look at that again. Is she examining shit in this room? What are you seeing? Are you seeing anything important? I got a little flipped upside down. I'm not super sure where I'm going anymore. Wait, that was a thing. I saw a thing. Do not deny me this thing. Oh, it's a drop down. I didn't mean to do it. Come take a look. Look down there. I think that's the engine room. Good place to find the generator, right? Let's find out. Shit. No more ladder. I can drop the rest of the way. Wait. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Fine. Come on down. Once again, I have a major piss. I think I'm going to call... I'm thinking I'm going to call it for tonight and say I'm going to stop drinking, but right now, I do have to piss again. Last bathroom break, last drink, quick shot of tequila, and I'm done for tonight. Not done playing, of course, just done drinking. Fuck! What's up? Oh, geez, I was steps away from another that? jump scare when I paused. Right. No. Of course you didn't. Um, hello? Yeah, I think I'm actually seeing clearly for the first time in a while. Nothing jumped out at me. So, the ship was carrying Manchurian gold, but that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. We know it was unstable and leaked all over the ship. Maybe it's still here, and it's having the same effect on us. Paranoia, hallucinations, that was what this stuff was designed to do. The crew was hallucinating. We know they were scared of something, and the officers thought it was just a bunch of jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. All this crazy shit going on, none of it's real. None of it's actually there. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. I don't know. It seems like the plane came in contact with the ship, but it's just a theory. Oh, God. All right, let's get going. All right, so none of this can hurt us. That's good to know. I'm feeling invincible now. I'm feeling immortal. Is this really not a thing I can interact with? This valve? Okay, guess not. I'm feeling strong though. The Manchurian gold, it's a bioweapon. If we went to Japan on vacation instead. I I would actually like to go on vacation to Japan. There's a there's kind of a plan within uh, certain groups of friends of going to Japan. I've kind of I've entertain the idea of going with my girlfriend I've entertained the idea of going with some friends I've entertained the idea of going it. to Japan alone oh, thank God and it's working and just letting loose but I don't know yep, this is it all right just throw the switch and let's get back upstairs yeah let's throw that switch okay let's get back up there we'll have to find a new way up oh. We lost power. It could happen again. We're back up now. Do you read us? Over. Please state your situation. Over. Listen, they took my boat, they kidnapped us, and they are attacking us on the freighter. You have to hurry, please. Over. Recovery mission is on route to your location. Over. Location is confirmed. Damn it. Old piece of junk. <laughs> when we snap back to the scene, her, her thing was freaking out in her hands. That's fun. That's not a thing that happens in movies. 